Have you experienced the dark side of the green bin? While it's great to have our organic waste turned into compost, the creepy crawlers that grow there aren't so great. The queen of green of waste management, Jackie Colangelo, is with us today with some tips, including how to manage the maggots. Keeping your green clean. This is Daily Web TV. Today I am here talking to the Queen of Green, talking about our green cart maintenance. Jackie, when I think of my green cart, I think of yucky maggots and I don't even want to go to my green cart to put my garbage in there. How can we prevent that? Uh, you can start by right in the kitchen when you're wrapping up your food. You can wrap it in newspaper or wax paper. You can put it right in your freezer and freeze your meat scraps. Flies like meat, so protein, fish bones, bones, raw chicken when you're carving the chicken, getting it prepared, mm -hmm. that's what flies go after. So if the meat is visible in your green cart, that's what the flies are gonna land on, they'll lay eggs and you'll get maggots. So See, if you can cover it in a way, and we have a lot of tips and tricks to cover the meat, it will help prevent the maggots. Did you say to freeze my meat? Yes. Freeze it and then bring it out on the night before? Yeah. if you freeze it in something that is compostable, so something that goes right in your green cart, like an ice cream tub or wax paper or newspaper, just wrap it up tightly, throw it in the freezer the day of, take it out and put it right in your green bin. That's some useful information right there. How do we maintain our green cart? Like me, I'm really bad for just throwing my food in there and I don't line it. Should yeah. I be doing that? Um, you don't have to, but especially in the summer, in the heat, you may get maggots. So you can line it with a large leaf and yard bag. You can put it right inside your green cart. Uh, you can layer as you're putting items into your green cart. You could put maybe a piece of cardboard on the bottom or newspaper, put your food, top it up with some leaves, hedge trimmings, tree trimmings. You just wanna keep everything covered. When I have a cart full of maggots, mm -hmm. what is the best way to get rid of them? Carefully take your cart, <laughs> your cart out to the curb, uh, open up the lid and let the birds feast. The birds will eat up all the maggots, uh, the sun will dry them out, and then when they're done, when the collection workers have come and picked up your green cart, just give it a rinse with the hose. The birds will eat the maggots? Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. I honestly, I didn't know that. I would be out there with the hose trying to get rid of them. Yeah, no, it's very, very easy. If you do get them, just open up the lid. What do we do after our, our green cart's been picked up at the curbside? What, how do we maintain our green cart? Just rinse it out with the hose. You don't need to use cleaning products or bleach or anything. Uh, just give it a quick rinse, let it dry. When you store your green cart, you wanna store it, um, if it's outside, mm -hmm. away from the wall, away from bricks or tables that animals, especially raccoons, can climb up on top of. So try to keep it out of the reach of animals and stuff. Uh, you can also put a brick on top of it. Put a brick on it so that no one, the animals can open it up? Exactly. Oh, see, I didn't know that about putting, out, putting it against the wall. That's probably why we ended up with a raccoon in our green cart <laughs> last year. Where can somebody go to get more information? They can go to our website at hamilton.ca slash waste or by phoning 905-546-CITY. Thank you very much, Queen of Green. For more information on green cart maintenance, check out the website. I'm Tracy Bazo, and you've been watching Daily Web TV.